everyone in this video we are going to discuss the concept that is conversion which comes under the module logical reasoning so this is one of the important topics or ideas that you need to study when it comes to western logic under logical reasoning so what we are going to do in this video is we'll be just considering a question that was asked from this particular concept in the very recent exam and we are going to uh, focus or analyze this particular we will be going into the details of this particular concept and we'll be coming back and solving that question again so this is the format of uh, learning this particular uh, idea of conversion in this session so here you have the question so as i have already mentioned this is a question that was asked in the very recent exam that is december 2021 and june 2022 merge cycles of ntugc net and this question was asked for the second shift of commerce okay so what is the question here for which of the following forms of categorical propositions conversion is valid and we have the option sum ssp sum as is not p no ssp and all ssp so what is the question here from the given options we have to identify the forms of categorical propositions which is having a valid conversion so that is what we have to identify here so for that first and foremost we need to understand what this entire idea of conversion is all about so considering the uh, process of deduction or if you consider uh, the inferential processes of deduction in western logic we can say that we have two different types of deductive inferences we have immediate deductive inference as well as mediate deductive inference so considering the deduction the process of deduction we have two different types of inferences that can be uh, came out of this entire uh, reasoning of deduction and which includes immediate deductive inference as well as immediate deductive inference so what do you mean by this immediate deductive inference and immediate deductive inference that is what we are going to look at next so what do you mean by immediate deductive inference conclusion is deduced from one of the given propositions by any of the three ways which includes conversion of version and contraposition so we all know that if you have a uh, if you have an argument we have different propositions there and also we'll be deriving a proper conclusion from the given proposition this is how we are making arguments so uh, or this is how we are coming up with inferences in that case so what do you mean by this immediate deductive inference in immediate deductive inference what we are doing here we are con we are deriving the conclusion from one of the given propositions and for this purpose if you need to derive or deduce a conclusion from one of the given proposition you can actually use three different ways which includes conversion of version and contraposition so this particular idea or concept of conversion comes under immediate deductive inference so in that case what do you mean by this immediate deductive inference immediate deductive inference is basically syllogism so what is the peculiarity of immediate deductive inference this was firstly introduced by aristotle and a deductive argument in which conclusion has to be drawn from two propositions referred to as the premises can be called this immediate deductive inferences so basically the idea behind this is if you are considering immediate deductive inference you are just deducing a conclusion from one of the given propositions coming to this idea of immediate deductive inference what you are doing you are actually coming up with a conclusion or the conclusion is drawn from two propositions which can be called as the premises so from two premises you are deriving a conclusion that is immediate deductive inference and if you are coming up or if you are deducing a conclusion from one of the given propositions that can be called as immediate deductive inference and this process of immediate deductive inference or deriving a conclusion from one of the given propositions can be done through three different ways which includes conversion of version and contraposition so coming to the idea that we are focusing in this particular session that is conversion so how can you actually make a conversion or how you can uh, deduce conclusion from one of the given premises or one of the given propositions using this conversion that is what we are going to do or look at next so the conversion proceeds with interchanging the subject term and predicate term that is the subject term of the premise becomes the predicate term of the conclusion and the predicate term of the premise becomes the subject term of the conclusion so how can you come up with a conclusion from a particular proposition using conversion you just have to do one thing just interchange the subject term and the predicate term if you have a, a proposition with you and if you need to deduce a conclusion from that single proposition what you can do here is 
just interchange the subject and the predicate. What do you mean by this idea of interchanging the subject and predicate? The subject term of the premise becomes the predicate term of the conclusion and the predicate term of the premise becomes the subject term of the conclusion. We will be just looking at the various prepositions and also we will be looking at how you can actually uh, deduce conclusion from each of these of uh, different types of categorical propositions using conversion in that at that point of time this idea will be more clearer for you so considering this idea of conversion we have a proposition which is actually used for deducing the conclusion right so that proposition can be called as the convertent and the conclusion drawn from that particular proposition can be called as the converse so these are the two important terms that we have to identify here, identify here so coming to the basic or the main idea of this conversion, we have a table that is given here. So we have four different propositions, four different types of categorical proposition. We have the universal affirmative that is all SSP, then we have the universal negative that is no SSP, then we have the particular affirmative that is some SSP and also the particular negative that is some SS not P. So, if this is the case, how can you actually deduce conclusions from all these given categorical propositions using conversion? That is what we are looking at. given a proposition like all SSP, for example, all dogs are mammals. So what is the valid conclusion that you can actually draw from this particular proposition that is given here using conversion? So the valid conversion of all dogs and mammals is some mammals are dogs. First and foremost, what you have to do here is you have to firstly change the entire quantity of this particular statement. So this is universal and this is particular. That's it. 
both of these uh, propositions or the proposition and the conclusion are affirmative. So you don't need to focus on the quality, you have to change the quantity. So all SSP can be converted into some PSS. What is the thing here? First and foremost, you have changed the quantity and then the idea that we have discussed in the entire process of conversion. What we have discussed here, we have to interchange the subject and the predicate. That what we have discussed here, right? What we have discussed here is interchanging the subject term and predic predicate term. The subject term of the proposition will be or the subject term of the premise will be the predicate term of the conclusion and the predicate term of the premise becomes the sub subject term of the conclusion. This is what we have discussed, right? So after changing this particular uh, quantity universal to affirmate, uh, universal to particular, then we'll be focusing on the interchanging of the subject and predicate term. So this uh, changing of quantity only applies there in this particular scenario that is a universal affirmative uh, proposition. Coming to this uh, universal negative and particular affirmative, we don't need to change the quantity or anything of that. So you have just, you need to just interchange the subject and the predicate, that's it. Okay, so all SSP, the valid conversion is some PSS. So we have changed the quantity and then we have interchanged the subject term and the predicate term. So all dogs are mammals, some mammals are dogs. And coming to the next categorical preposition that is universal negative, no SSP, for example, no fish is bird. What is the converse of that particular premise or preposition that is given here? You just need to interchange the subject and the predicate. No PSS. So no SSP, the converse is no PSS, that is no bird is fish. Coming to the next one, that is some SSP. Some SSP is particular affirmative. For example, some poets are singers. So how can you deduce conclusion from this particular premise using conversion? The valid conversion of some SSP is some pieces. You have just, some pieces, you have just interchanged the subject term and the predicate term. So some poets are singers, some singers are poets. Coming to the last one, that is particular negative. Some SS not P. There is no valid conversion for that as well. So this is something that you have to identify and uh, keep keep in your mind that is some message not P is not having a valid conversion or in other words, there is, there is no valid conversion for particular negative. Okay, so what we have discussed so far is we have focusing, we are focusing on the idea of conversion. So what is conversion? This is actually a way in which we can actually uh, derive or deduce conclusion from a given or from one of the given propositions or, or in other words, if you have a just, uh, if you have just one premise given or one proposition is there and if you need to deduce a conclusion from that, for that purpose, you can actually use three different ways, which includes conversion, obversion and contraposition. Conversion is the thing that we have or the concept that we have discussed or focused here. So how can you make or how can you deduce conclusions using conversion? That is what we are focusing here. If you have a premise given, or from the given propositions, you just take one proposition and if you need to deduce a conclusion from that single proposition or premise, you can just use this concept of conversion. What is conversion? How can you make a converse or a valid converse statement or the conclusion from a given premise? Just interchange the subject and the predicate. That is the idea. So particularly for, if you are focusing on the four different types of categorical proposition, when it comes to all SSP universal, Affirmative proposition, the converse is some pieces. There you need to focus on this thing as well. You need to change the universal to the particular that is there. Then you have to interchange the subject and the predicate. No SSP, there is no, no change in the quality or quantity or anything of that sort. No SSP, just interchange the subject and predicate. Then you will get the converse statement or then you will get the conclusion that can be deduced validly from this particular premise using conversion. So no SSP is having the converse, no PSS. Then we have some SSP, that is some PSS and some SS not P. So it is not having a valid conversion. All right, coming back to the question that we have uh, discussed at the beginning of this particular video. So what is the question here? For which of the following forms of categorical propositions, conversion is valid? So what is the question here? If we have four different categorical proposition, from which of these propositions you can actually derive a valid conclusion using conversion? So that is the question here, right? For which of the following forms of categorical propositions, conversion is valid? So from the table given here, we know that for universal affirmative, universal negative and particular affirmative, we have 
valid conversion possible there but for this particular thing that is particular negative there is no valid conversion if that's the case we can say that this particular option that is option b some ss not p is not having a valid conversion that is what we have discussed so far so just eliminate that option some ssp what is the conversion some pss no ssp what is the conversion no pss for option d all ssp what is the valid conversion some pss we have discussed that as well so in that case we can say that from the given option option a c and d are the categorical propositions which is having a valid conversion possible so a c and d will be the answer for this question a c and d only is option b so the right answer for this question is option d itself so as i have already mentioned in this video conversion is a very important idea that we need to learn in this particular module that is logical reasoning this is a very easy idea if you know it you can actually score marks for it as well so in the coming videos also we'll be just focusing on this kind of important concepts that are there in the 10 different modules of uh, intelligence in net paper one and we'll be focusing on the very recent questions asked from these areas as well so thanks for watching and happy learning